Hi, today this is Will and Alex's PSP channel and today we're going to be showing you how to install CXMB for PSP, Slim and Fat. It has to be on M33 custom firmware so no noobs asking and CXMB basically is an easy way to get themes. So, in the description there will be these links. Um, go to CXMB 3.1 and that's the mega upload link so we can go to that and um, now just download it but we've already done that so um, uh, you can once you've downloaded it you can pause the video while you're downloading it but um, it should look like this. So open Win the WinRAR archive, and it should be CXMB for 3.90. Go into that, and then go into CXMB Lite, and then copy this CXMB folder into PSP, and you've got to be in USB mode on your PSP. USB mode. Okay. It just goes in the root of your PSP, which is just um, basically as soon as you go on it. Um, just copy and paste it in there, drag and drop. Now create a folder called SE Plugins. If it already isn't there. Yeah, if it's not already there, we've just made it. Make it simpler. Now, um, in SE plugins, create a text folder. File. Text file called vsh.txt. And in it should be ms0 colon. CXMB slash CXMB dot PRX. We'll put that in the description, but that's what it should look like. Then save it and now download the 50 theme pack, which should be on in the description here. So go to it, I'll just show you. We've downloaded that as well, but just we'll just go to it to show you. Now download it. Uh, here it should be part way down the page. Download, then open it or save it, doesn't matter. Um, and then once you've opened it, it should be like this. This. Uh, open MS0. Um, and it should be in PSP theme. But before I do that, create a folder in the root called PSP. If it isn't already there. If it's not already there. And then inside that, create one called theme. If that's not already there. And just copy all of these into that folder. We're just going to copy one as an example into it. Should be in there. Now to the PSP. Disconnect it from USB mode and um, reset it. Um, just turn it off completely and go into the recovery mode. You Back. need custom firmware for this, not Sony firmware, don't ask. Uh, so, to get it into recovery menu, just switch it on while you're holding R. And go into plugins and cxmb.prx 
that should be disabled so enable it and then go back then exit and if you've done everything properly when you switch it on go into settings here theme settings theme there should be loads of themes here down here and uh, we've just got one as an example and um, apply it'll just restart when it applies it and when you want to change them just do the same thing in settings and theme and it'll ask you if you want to delete something just say yeah it won't actually delete it and um, thank you for watching